This is Brian Rogers for BBK Performance to show you how to install a clutch quadrant, a clutch cable, and a firewall adjuster on a 1979 to 2004 Mustang. This video covers all BBK quadrant, cable, and firewall adjuster applications. And all of these products are great for use with aftermarket performance clutches and as replacements for stretched or worn cables. Note that the cable is one size fits all and it may vary in length from the cable that you're removing. Additionally, the frame rail bracket on the cable might need to be removed to fit some models. Let's get started. Under the car, remove the cover on the driver's side of the bell housing. Then use a pry bar to push the clutch fork forward, which will allow you to slip the end of the cable through the large hole in the fork. Remove the retaining clip from the cable and pull it forward through the bell housing. Next, remove the bolt that holds the cable bracket to the frame rail and continue pulling the cable forward. Under the dashboard and over the throttle pedal, release the tip of the cable from the fangs in the plastic quadrant. Under the hood, unbolt the head of the cable from the firewall and remove the cable from the car completely. If you're not installing a BBK firewall adjuster, simply place the head of the new BBK cable against the firewall and secure it using the original hardware. If you're installing a firewall adjuster, begin by threading the two portions together as shown then bolt the assembly to the firewall using the original hardware. Remove the retaining clip from the head of the cable and slide the removable section off. Now place the prepared cable head into the firewall adjuster. After securing the head to the firewall or inserting it into the adjuster, route the rest of the cable down and under the car. Back under the dashboard, remove the clip from the end of the quadrant shaft, then pry the quadrant and its spring off of the shaft. Next, remove the pawl gear by first removing the clip from its shaft. The trick to removing this gear is to flip the end of the spring over the arm first, then releasing the spring completely from the gear before trying to remove the gear from the shaft. Now place the quadrant over both of the shafts and put the original clip back into the quadrant shaft. Lay the tip of the cable into the groove in the top of the quadrant and slide it under the fangs. To keep the tip from jumping out while you route the rest of the cable, I always recommend using a rubber band to secure it, like this. Under the car again, route the end of the cable through the bell housing and into the clutch fork. Use the original clip to hold the cable to the bell housing, then run the adjusting nut onto the threaded portion of the cable until the nut touches the fork. The next step is to adjust the cable. To do this, you'll need to start the car and put it into first gear. Slowly release the clutch pedal until the clutch starts to engage and the car starts to feel like it's moving forward. This should happen about three inches off of the floor as you release the pedal. Adjust the cable and with it adjusted properly, tighten the lock nut against the back of the adjusting nut and reinstall the cover. And if you've installed a firewall adjuster, you can use it to easily fine tune where the clutch engages from this point forward. For more information on this or any of the hundreds of parts that BBK makes for late model cars and trucks, check out bbkperformance.com. Here on the left, try our multiple search options or watch fun and informative product detail and installation videos. Up here on the top, use the tabs to order or download the latest catalog, find a dealer in your area, or read and download from our instruction sheet library that covers 20 plus years of BBK products. Don't forget to check out our homepage and blog to see what's new. Thanks for watching.